Please help support the channel by visiting our Amazon store, affiliate link below. Uh, last night, the first things first, I wanna talk about the uh, the, the X-Men Dark Phoenix uh, trailer. I did a reaction to this. It's currently disputing uh, copyright with from 20th Century Fox, which is to be expected because it's 20th Century Fox, and that is just what they do. Uh, if you if you post, the, I, I was uh, last year when Logan had its first trailer. I think I think it was at the end of 2016, and I did a I did a reaction to it. Uh, it was blocked worldwide by 20th Century Fox. They are assholes when it comes to to, uh, to doing trailer reactions, but I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to uh, to, to, to enjoy it a little bit, uh, see if I could enjoy it. And the truth of the matter is, guys, I, I didn't. I find it to be utterly pointless. I think that uh, the entire thing is just, uh, it's a waste of time, it's a waste of money. And I spent all last night after recording the reaction and uploading it and watching other people's reactions and the commentary on Twitter, uh, no one is super excited for this film that I could see. I'm sure there are people out there that are very excited for the movie, that are very excited for it to be a thing. Uh, I just simply cannot put myself in the position to give a crap about it. And I think New Mutants is going to suffer the same exact fate. Uh, Fox should have just released it back in April of this year and 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 taken their losses. But I understand why they wanted to go back and do the reshoots. They wanted to uh, they wanted to make it appear. Like they actually, you know, like, I don't know, knew what the hell was going on. They want, or I think they, they knew that the Disney thing was coming. They wanted to make it PG 13 in order to uh, play to that type of uh, audience that Disney cultivates and then um, hope that they can find a way to keep this, the characters and stories alive, which I understand. And maybe who knows, maybe New Mutants by the time it comes out, which I think by the time it actually drops, it will be underneath Disney's entire control, uh, or at least really get into that point because uh, they are fast tracking the sale that, uh, that it's going to at that point be part of the MCU. Kind, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if, if New Mutants where it's going to fall into that one. I haven't seen anyone talk about that yet. Or if they have, I simply uh, just I, I just don't I just don't I just don't know, which is a problem. And I will fully uh, definitely fully admit that. But uh, so, yeah, X-Men Dark Phoenix or just Dark Phoenix is just one that uh, I don't know. I, I just it, it didn't do it for me. I don't know if it did it for you. Hopefully it did. Uh, it, but you got to let me know how, how you feel about that, uh, you know, because at this point, it just kind of feels iffy to me. Hey, thanks for checking out this clip from Three Buck Theater. If you want to get the full audio version of the episode, you can find it anywhere podcasts are found. If you want to watch the video version of it, head on over to patreon.com forward slash mundane Matt and take a look at our Three Buck Theater perk, which gets you access to the full show that airs Monday through Friday. It's a video version of it. You get to look at this face, talk about movies and, and everything else on the screen. Uh, it's great stuff. It helps out. And I really appreciate the support. Remember to please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.